I'm Connor and today I'm here to show you how to replace a motherboard on a Sherpa power barrel. Okay, so first, in order to get to the motherboard compartment, you must flip the Sherpa power, power barrel upside down. And then you will see the bottom of the battery casing with this compartment cover here. And there are just two screws which hold on this cover. Once these two screws have been undone, the cover comes off like so and then it exposes the mains printed circuit board. As you'll see there are only two wires going in, it's quite a simple assembly. So you just slide the circuit board out and you, I'd recommend that you take a photo or a note of where the cables go and then start disconnecting them. So first we disconnect the motor sensor probe and then the manual the, then the hand controls and then disconnect the positive from the motor cable and the negative from the motor cable like so and then that is the circuit board removed then you get your new circuit board and reconnect it so I personally start with the negative of the motor just because it's a, a prominent one, it's quite easy to remember because it's the closest to the heatsink. And then the positive, which is next to the relay. Then you have the motor sensor connection, which goes into there like that. And the hand controls, which goes into there like that. So, one thing that is necessary to note is that there are two speed terminals at the top of the circuit board, here and here, which are unused. These have a constant 24 volts, so do not connect anything to them. Once you've got it wired up like that, it's worth noting the recesses in the compartment where the circuit board slides in. So it slides in there like that. It just lowers in, and then you just guide the wires into the retaining slots, and put the bottom of the power barrel on, and then redo the two screws. So once these two screws are put back on and the power barrel is in this state again, that is the main circuit board successfully replaced.